infrastructure, a key driver of growth for our nation, has unlocked many opportunities for sustainable growth. From government to contractors to even consultants, everyone is focused on sustainability. Sustainability without any compromise on quality. On behalf of ACOM, we are building uh, facilities for Indian Navy. My nature of work is I have to take care of quality assurance and quality control for the entire project CPI. The importance of high quality materials in a large infrastructure project is very much required. We are trying to look at where the performance based concrete is incorporated into the specifications. So our scope of work there started with feasibility study. We did the feasibility study, then we did the detailed project report, and then finally we were appointed the authority engineers. It was absolutely necessary to be able to get quality and consistency without affecting any other parameter of the foundation. It is critical that there should be very good quality concrete in the pile caps and in the pylons because this, this is where the entire load will get transferred um, and GGBS plays a major role in this in improving the quality and consistency of the concrete uh, that we have poured in there. When it comes to the massive use of supplementary cementation materials, the availability of the material, consistent quality of the material and cost of the material. So these factors decide the choice of a particular material. So as far as the GGBS availability is concerned, it is available in most part of the country and people can make use of it. So the green initiative is, is something that's very, very critical. I think for everybody today, sustainable environment and sustainable construction has become very, very important. To that extent, usage of GGBS is very good. GGBS helps in sustainability and durability of concrete. So by replacing cement, we are reducing the release of carbon dioxide, thereby helping the environmental costs. Most people look at GGBS as a cement replacement. So to me, it's not just a cement replacement. It, it also adds to the quality and consistency of the concrete because it gives me a better quality concrete. It gives me a denser mix than I would have normally done. As a product, definitely it, it, it's something that everybody should use. One of the things that set GGBS apart from other building materials is that it releases 60 kilograms of CO2 for every ton, a global average of 680 kilograms CO2 for every ton, one tenth of global CO2 emissions, which is among the lowest of its kind in the industry. So that's why this has become a very popular material in this uh, uh, concrete. The replacement of up to 50% and above will bring down the heat of hydration and also the core temperature to be less than 70 degrees Celsius. So this helps in reducing the thermal cracking and also reducing the heat of hydration and also it helps in minimizing the cement usage. Apart from this, it reduces the permeability, it reduces the water absorption. These are the parameters when we consider durability aspect. So this uh, will add value uh, to the service life of the structure and also prevent the maintenance. The performance of the concrete mix both in fresh stage that is as a workability requirements and in hardened state uh, satisfying the strength requirements and in the later stage durability requirements. So from all these point of view we are proposing not only for the residential and the commercial buildings but also for uh, structures, infrastructure such as uh, uh, flyovers uh, bridges, metro projects, tunnels, uh, water uh, over at water tanks, uh, sewage treatment plants especially because these, uh, these are the things where the concrete will be subjected to chemical actions. The introduction of uh, GGBS into the concrete is mainly it resists the chloride and sulfates uh, which is available from outside external atmospheres and it increases the long-term strength. Any decision that you make when you are specifying something whether it's for a major project or a minor bridge or a culvert. Three or four things that your code asks you to do and the specifications ask you to do is to look at the durability, look at the economy, look at the quality and the consistency of the product that we are using. One of the logistically possible solutions was JSW. And, and even at the time when we approved it, it was one of the largest GGBS suppliers. They also have great quality and consistency in their product and uh, GGBS uh, is definitely going to help the construction industry in achieving long-term durable structures. This has been really a success story to a greater extent.